I think the perception of a lot of people when I tell them I'm in aging research is like, oh, you know, like you try to help everyone live to 150. I'm like, not if 50 of those years are bad quality years. Well, I think aging generally, it's an increase in entropy. It's an increase in disorganization, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We all know this. You clean out that junk drawer in, in your kitchen or wherever it is, and eventually it fills up with stuff again. You have like the bills that are not opened and the little staplers and the, all the... So there's that systemic sort of disorganization that happens. So if we can figure out a way to decrease that disorganization, decrease that entropy, then we can potentially increase our longevity and not only just our life span, but potentially our health span as well, right? right? You don't want to live for 10 years with reduced mobility and reduced cognition and pain. And Seven different drugs. and No, yeah, nobody no. wants that. It's all about like, how do I train now so that when I'm invariably lose some function, right, that I'm still able to maintain things that give me good quality of life.